in the in the media nowadays we see a lot of um, things about the vaccine and stuff mm -hmm. and everyone's trying to everyone's been saying oh you should take it or you shouldn't take it etc yeah. so yeah. have you been vaccinated yourself yeah i'm vaccinated i'm vaccinated yeah, yeah I'm, so, I'm vaccinated but you know everyone has their own choice of what they want to do you know i'm not the i'm not the guy that's going to say you need to do this or you need to do that or whatever like that my reasons were, are, are very simple uh, I have older family members who have caught COVID. That's why I got vaccinated. My mother has had, um, you know, a lot of like sickness and stuff like that. So I want to get vaccinated as well. And then also, if I want to continue to play basketball, you need to be vaccinated in order to travel and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to jeopardize my future off of this and stuff. And, you know, people need to just do that research. You know, we have everything that we need here and stuff like that. If you feel comfortable taking it, take it. And if you have reservations, then, you know, find more information and stuff so that you know what to do. What do you think about people on like uh, Twitter, Instagram, they're all um, making rumors about the vaccine and stuff like that? Well, um, I want to be responsible here because, you know, if it's mainly black people that we're talking about, you know, in the history, you know, obviously the government hasn't been so on our side and stuff. So I understand as a black, as a black person, why people have reservations and stuff but you know people shouldn't be throwing out you know just random massive crazy notions or theories and stuff like that which is why i always say do your research you know what i mean because uh science is science you know what i mean no matter what and if you feel comfortable then take it you know what i mean but you know to our to our community just be responsible that's that's that's, that's the main thing don't be out here you know doing dumb stuff um, uh, are you vaccinated or if not have you considered it i'm currently not vaccinated i just haven't done my research enough on the vaccines that are out there and like you guys were interviewing earlier um rodney just hearing all those those different theories and conspiracies about the side effects yeah. so for me it's just finding out what each uh, vaccine does and the side effects that come with it and that, i haven't done my research so that's why i'm not vaccinated yet i mean it's good to always let you know keep it's trying to oh, keep keep like all right, that's a lie, but that's the truth. So you always need to like you know, yep. know what yeah, to do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's going in. He's putting something in your body. You want to make sure you know what's going in. Yeah. So, so have you had your vaccine? I've not had my vaccine. No. Yeah. Do you have a reason why? Uh, no, the, I didn't have it originally just because I wanted to see because there was three releases. I was like, well, I'm not gonna. I don't know which one's the best. Let me see which one wins the, the long run. Um, but then in August, I had a I, I had COVID. Um, I think it was a Delta variant. I was really sick. You know, I was uh, in bed for a week, 10 days. Didn't eat really much food. Uh, it's lethargic, tired, uh, really bad chest cough, a lot of pain when I was breathing. Wow. Um, so that was 10, 11 days of that. And then uh, I got better slowly, but for a while I still had the tightness in my chest. Um, so now I have a rush to it just because I have the, the antibodies from having it. Yep. But, uh, you know, I do plan on soon getting vaccinated. If 100% because the same uh, guys, COVID is real. Yeah. You heard it from the man himself. I had COVID, I had no no pain, like yeah. nothing at all. Yeah. I was just isolated for 10 days. That was the longest 